I'm Dr. Fulu. I'll be talking today about miscarriages. A miscarriage is a spontaneous abortion or termination of pregnancy which is involuntary and which happens before the age of viability of the fetus. In this environment, the age of viability is 28 weeks. So any loss of a pregnancy which was not intended and happens before 28 weeks of gestational age is termed um, a miscarriage. Miscarriages can be caused by several things. Um, first of all, miscarriages, most miscarriages, especially those that occur in the first trimester and early in the first trimester, are usually a result of chromosomal abnormalities in the baby, in which case the baby would not have been able to survive even up to um, the age of viability if it did not terminate at that point. So in those cases, it is more of um, a blessing in disguise. Now other things that can cause miscarriages are things that are outside of the baby that are extrinsic to the baby. And these include structural abnormalities in the uterus, um, which do not allow implantation to occur properly or do not allow growth of the fetus to the age of viability. These could also include infections in the mother, which could be transmitted to the baby and terminate the life of the baby while it is trying to grow. Other things that can cause um, miscarriages include hormonal imbalances because some hormones are required in quantity to support the growing fetus and when this is not present then the baby loses that support and you know the baby will demise at that point. So it is important to note that hormonal um, factors can also be responsible for miscarriages. Miscarriages could also be a result of trauma and this is to the mother. If the mother undergoes um, trauma, especially to the abdomen or a particularly stressful, either physically or emotionally stressful um, occurrence, this could also result you know, in a miscarriage. Miscarriages could also be a result of medications which the mother takes, which are damaging to the baby and this could result in a miscarriage. Having discussed causes or risk factors of miscarriages, it's important also to discuss um, prevention. So what are things that we can do to prevent miscarriages or to reduce our risk for having miscarriages? And these border mainly on maternal health. First of all, um, the mother must be in good health, must be of ideal weight. Underweight mothers predispose or increase risk are at increased risk of miscarriages and the same goes for the other extreme where obese mothers are at increased risk of having miscarriages. Um, the mother's health is also a function of her social habits. So mothers who take alcohol and smoke cigarettes um, should consider cutting those out prior to conception and these will make the body to be more receptive um, to the growing baby and also able to support you know, the baby's growth um, fully. Um, the mother's occupation too should be considered, particularly um, strenuous jobs. Um, should be re the, the physical activity should be reduced a little bit at around the first trimester to ensure that the baby is actually fully implanted and has started to grow prior to recommencement of full physical activity. Mothers who are exposed to radiation um, as a result of occupational um, exposure, this should also be looked into. Um, this this um, should be looked into even prior to conception. And indeed, the prenatal visit is also very important because at the prenatal visit prior to conception or the preconception visit, this is a period where other conditions that can predispose to an increased risk of um, miscarriages can be identified, such as um, infections in the mother, diabetes, hypertension, and other conditions that can increase the risk of um, miscarriages. All these can be identified even at the pre-conception visit. Now, the symptoms of a miscarriage are few and um, easy to identify. First of all, a miscarriage is usually noticed when there is bleeding 
in the mother. When there's bleeding per vaginum in the mother, this, this is an early symptom of a miscarriage. There could also be some low abdominal pain or low back pain heralding the termination of that pregnancy. This is also possible. Then there could be, especially in cases where the baby is a little bit um, advanced in gestational age, there could be identification that the baby has the, the, the uterus has stopped growing. So this could be another sign that a miscarriage has occurred. And of course, if the miscarriage is, the miscarriage is as a result of an infection in the mother, there could be symptoms of that condition, such as malaria in the mother with headaches, fever, body pains, a urinary tract infection in the mother, which could also be um, identified by difficulty or painful urination, also a fever or frequent urination. Then there could also be um, vaginal infections, which could um, cause um, a miscarriage. And this could be um, identified by presence of copious new um, vaginal discharge you know in the mother so once a miscarriage is suspected as a matter of urgency the, the mother has to present at her healthcare provider for proper assessment um, if the miscarriage is determined to have occurred already meaning that the baby has already demised and cannot be saved then there are methods that will be implemented to ensure that the demised fetus is evacuated um, safely and quickly from the mother. Once the um, demised fetus has been evacuated from the uterus, and this can be done using several methods, either medically or surgically if it's required, the mother has to recover. And it's important that physical um, rehabilitation and recovery is carried out adequately prior to attempting to conceive again and not just physically but even emotionally the mother must be mentally so um, emotionally prepared for another pregnancy um, before attempting to conceive again having had a miscarriage increases the risk of a subsequent miscarriage so all hands must be on deck to ensure full physical recovery and full emotional recovery prior to another attempt at conception. Thank you.